to the Crochet Magical Mystery Tour. My name is Chris of Light and Joy Designs and today I'm going to be presenting you and teaching you how to make the lovely mandala trivet. This is a mandala pattern. I have two slight different variations and um, if you if you liked the Lucky Sevens trivet, you're going to really love this trivet as well. We're making it with 100% cotton yarn and uh, I hope that you love it. If you do like getting these free videos, uh, free tutorials, free patterns, please give this video a thumbs up before we all forget at the end. Uh, that helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. And also be sure to subscribe because I have free weekly patterns um, every week <laughs> and uh, wouldn't want you to miss any of those. So um, let's get started. So for this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to work in the round and the materials that we're going to use are uh, several different colors of worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn. I'm using rainbow. Uh, by Hobby and um, in and I'll have the uh, the colors listed in the description below. I'll also have uh, an alternate source of um, cotton yarn that you can use as well. You will also need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a scissors. If you would like, you can work this in one color or you could do two colors alternating or three colors alternating. It's really up to you. There are six rounds in the trivet, so I'm going to be using six colors, but you could quite easily use five colors and have your first color also be your last color. So that's completely up to you. And you'll probably want to make a few of these in lots of different color combinations. So for this first color, I'm using this uh, pale lilac color, which is, they give their colors numbers instead of names. And this is color number 41. We're gonna start with a slip knot. Place the tail end of the yarn over your hand, the inside of your hand take the working part of the yarn and bring it over, cross it over to the left, grab the thread on the right and pull it over the thread on the left, and then grab the thread on the right, and there you have your slip knot. Just put that on the end of your hook, pull on the working yarn end, and secure that. So the first round, Let's take a look at our diagram. We're going to work four chains and then we're going to join with a slip stitch and then we're going to chain one and do 12 crochets around that circle. So let's take a look at that. We're going to chain four. Uh, you just yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook to chain three, four. And then to slip stitch, we're going to go into the first chain. You can go under either one or two threads, it doesn't matter. You're going to grab the yarn and pull it through, pull through that loop. And then you're gonna pull that loop that's through the loop that's on your hook. And now you have your circle ready to go. As I do these uh, 12 cro single crochets, I'm going to be working in my tail as I go around. So we're going to chain one and we're going to start our 12 single crochets. And to do that, we're just going to go into the circle, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through those two. That's one single crochet. And then you're going to do 12 of those all together. So again, go into the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And as you go around, you're gonna to need to 
um, really scrunch these up so that they all fit. So go ahead and do 12 of those and I'll meet you at the end for joining. So I have just one more to fit in here. I'm just gonna pull these down a little bit further. And that's 12. So now I'm going to go into my very first single crochet here. So under those two threads, I'm going to yarn over and pull through a loop and then pull that through the loop on my hook. And that's slip stitch. Oops, that's a slip stitch completed. So at this point now we're going to cut this yarn and leave a little tail. And now we're going to move on to our next color. So my next color is called 40 <laughs> and it's kind of a uh, lavender color. Okay, so for the next round, I'm going to be using this lavender color and it is color number 40. So for round two, we are going to be doing two double crochets into each single crochet around. So let's add in our first color. Leave that loop hanging there. We're going to um, take our new color and place it over the hook and pull it through that loop of the first color. Now what you're going to do is pull that loop of the first color nice and tight. And then snug this color so that it's the right size. And pull that down one more time too. And I'm going to be crocheting in my tails as I go around. So to start, we're going to chain three. And that will count as our first double crochet. Now into the very same place where our slip stitch was, we're going to do a second double crochet. Keeping these tails in the back so that they get worked in. To do a double crochet, we uh, do a yarn over, go into the place where the slip stitch was, we yarn over and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're just going to do that into each single crochet around. So one more time, yarn over, go into that next single crochet, and we're working in these tails. So we just lay them on top, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And into each single crochet, we're doing two double crochets. So that's the second one. Okay, and then the next one, we do two double crochets again. So do that all the way around. And at the end, you should have 24 double crochets. Okay, I'm here at my last one. Let's just double check our count here. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, two, four, six, eight, 22, and then two more will make 24, which is what we want. Get those tails out of the way. That's one and two. So now we're going to slip stitch into the third chain, one, two, three, to join this round. So you just go into that third chain, yarn over, pull through a loop, and pull it through the loop on your hook. And now you can cut that. Okay, so for our, our 
next row, row three, we're going to, in each of those two double crochets that we did, we're going to do three double crochets together and then a chain two, and then three double crochets together and a chain two. So uh, my next color is color 62 from Hobby. We're going to join it the same way that we did on the last round, which is I'm just going to lay <clears throat> that new yarn over my hook and pull it through that last loop on the hook. And then I'm going to tighten that loop down nice and tight. And then I'm going to pull this snug around my hook. And I'm just going to pull that tight one more time. And again, I'm going to be working in my tails as I go. So all of these will be in the back. That's my dog drinking in the background. <laughs> All right, so we're going to chain three for our first double crochet. One, two, actually just, just do two, just chain two there. And then we're going to go in between our first two double crochets. We're going to yarn over, go in between the two stitches. So we're not going into a stitch, we're going in between them. We yarn over and pull up a loop, and then we yarn over, pull through two. We're going to go right into the next one because we're doing these three together. So then we yarn over again, go back into that same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now we have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to yarn over, pull through three. And that's three double crochets together. So now we're going to chain two and we are going to go to the next set. So we just worked into this set. Now we're going to work in between these two. So again, I'm holding and actually I'm just going to cut these ones because they're, they're worked in and I'll sew this one in later. So I'm going to go in between these two, yarn over, go in between, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Then we right away start the next one, yarn over, go into in between the two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three loops on the hook. We do it one more time. Yarn over, go back into that same space. Yarn over and pull up a loop. We have one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. We yarn over, pull through two, and then we yarn over, pull through all four loops on the hook. So then we chain two. And let's just look at that one more time. We go over to our next pair. So we skip one, two, we yarn over, go into that space between the two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go back into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through four. Okay, and that's how you do three double crochets together. You know, essentially what you're doing is you're starting each of those crochets by just going through two loops and then you start the next one and you just go through two loops and then you start the next one and you just go through two loops and then you finish them all together like that. So just do that all the way around and I'll meet you for the join. So I'm here at my last one. That's the beginning of one. That's the beginning of two. And that's the beginning of three. Pull through all four. And I'm just going to cut that little tail there. And 
and then chain two. And we're going to join with a slip stitch to the third chain. One, two, three. Yarn over, pull through a loop, and pull it through the loop that's on your hook. So that's row three completed. And I'm just going to take a quick little break to sew in the tail from the very beginning just to get it out of the way. Just work it through a couple of times in the back in the back ring. And then you can just cut that. So we're going to cut the tail on that third color. We're going to get our next color, which is number 44. It's this light pink. And let's take a look at what we've got going on for row four. So we just finished this dark blue color, uh, round three. Now we're on round four. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working four double crochets into each of the chain two spaces all the way around. So pretty easy. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to um, pull the yarn through this loop that's on my hook because I want to, and then pull that tight because I'm going to be joining my yarn into the chain two space. Okay, so to, so to join this new color, I'm going to go into the chain two space and lay that tail down. And I'm going to put the yarn over my hook and I'm just going to pull that through. I'm going to grab the working end of that yarn and it will feel a little flimsy, but just be patient with it. And I'm just going to chain one there. So you are going to have this, this piece kind of hanging off, but we're going, to, we're going to crochet over it to secure it. So now we're going to chain three for our first double crochet. One, two, three. And then we're going to do four double crochets into, sorry, three more double crochets into that chain two space. So we, let me do that with you a little slower. Yarn over, go into the chain two space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have three now, and we're going to just going to do one more. Yarn over, go into that chain space. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we don't, there's no chain in between them. So you just are going to go right to the next, you're just going to go right to the next chain two space and start with four double crochets in there. So we yarn over, go into the next chain two space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do four double crochets in there all together. And then you'll just do that all the way around. So that's actually pretty easy. And I'll meet you for the joining. Okay, so I just finished my last set and I'm going to join to the third chain of our starting chain. Going into that third chain, keep that loop snug, yarn over, pull through a loop and slip stitch it right into that 
chain there. Okay, so again, we're going to cut our tail and we're going to pull that yarn through and just secure that because we're going to be joining at a different place. And in the meantime, I am just going to sew in my little tails just to get them out of the way. Okay, so here we are so far. We've got one, two, three, four rows completed. We're now ready for our fifth row, which is in this bright pink or red color. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a single crochet. We're going to, we're going to attach into one of these spaces between two double crochets. We're going to do a single crochet in there. We're going to chain two and then we're going to do a single crochet in between these in the center of these four. So um, so we do a single crochet here and then we do a single crochet in the center of each of these four, this, these clusters of four. So the next color is number 39 and it's a, a darker purple. And to join this, we're going to join it the same way. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is, um, for this one, I'm going to do a slip knot. And I'm going to go right into one of the spaces in between the four clusters. I'm going to pull that tight. on the working the working yarn. I'm going to pull that through and I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to do a single crochet in that same spot. So to do that, I'm just going to go into the spot into that space, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook and then you yarn over, pull through those two. Then we're going to chain two, one, two and we're going to go to this four cluster and we're going to go in between the second and third stitch. So we're not going into one of the stitches, we're going into the space between them and we're going to do a single crochet. So we go into that space, we yarn over, pull up a loop, we have two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two. We chain two. And actually, let me just show you, this is where we have, this row is where we have a variation that you can choose if you prefer. So what I'm showing you here is where we do single crochets in each of those spots in between the four clusters and then in the center of the four clusters. The other option that you have is in between the four clusters is to do a double crochet down into this stitch down here. So let me just show you what that would look like. So instead of doing a single crochet in here, you would be doing a double crochet into this space here. I'll just show you what that would look like. You would yarn over, go into the stitch in the previous row, then you yarn over in the back, pull through that loop. You're going to have three loops on your hook. Kind of pull this one up a little bit. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And then you're going to chain two again. And then in the next one, you're going to do a single crochet. And when you do this version, your trivet is going to have 
an alternating, you're going to have one little bit showing through here and then kind of a longer showing through, alternating around. And you also, so here's one um, where we do just the single crochet. You can see the difference there. It's really up to you. When you do the these double crochets, what ends up happening is your outer edge is going to pull up more. So you're going to have a space in here. When you do just the single crochet, it's going to be tighter, or tighter around here, but you're going to have the openings in the, these sections. So it's really, you know, you might want to experiment and try one of each. But I'm going to go back and I'm just going to do single crochets on this one because I happen to like that version best. And when you do a single crochet um, after having done some chains, what can be helpful is to then hold that down in the back with your middle finger before you yarn over and pull through your two loops. And that just makes it easier to get into them because if you don't do that, what happens is you've got this loop kind of hanging out there like it's kind of loose and sometimes you get in there and sometimes you don't. So I find that holding that work back in the back makes it easier to do that single crochet. So just do that all the way around, chaining two, going in between the second and third of your four clusters, making a single crochet, chaining two, and then going in between the four clusters and doing another single crochet. Oops, just two. So I'll meet you at the end for the join. So I just did a chain two. I have one more single crochet to do here. In between the second and third in my four cluster, I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to go into the first single crochet and do a slip stitch in there to join the round. So now I'm going to cut my yarn, pull that yarn through, and I'm going to sew in my ends because I like to get them out of the way as I go. You can do them all at the end if you prefer. Five is completed, very easy. Now we're going to start row six, our final row. It's this row here in black. We're going to join at one of the chain two spaces and we're going to do a single crochet. Then in the next chain two space, we're going to do a five double crochet shell, then a single crochet in the next chain two space a five double crochet shell and so on all the way around. So this next color that I'm using is color number 45. So we are going to join the same way that we joined the last time. We're going to go into one of the chain two spaces and I'm actually going to tie a slip knot. I'm going to tighten up on that slip knot, pull that loop through, and then 
and I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do a single crochet into that space. And I'm going to work in this tail as I go along. So go right back into that same space, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now I have two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to go right over to the next chain two space and I'm going to do five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then I go to the next chain two space right here, keeping my tail behind. And I'm going to do a single crochet. Go to the next chain two space and do five double crochets. And that's referred to as a, as a shell, five double crochet shell. So Go ahead and do that all the way around, alternating between five double crochet shells and single crochets into the, all of the chain two spaces, and I'll meet you at the end for joining. I've just finished my last five double crochet shell, and I'm going to join by doing a slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. Just go under those two threads. Yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, uh, sorry, don't yarn over, just pull that loop through the loop that's on your hook. And then do a chain. Actually, you don't have to do that chain. Let's just like that and cut a tail. Pull that yarn through nice and tight and we'll sew in those ends. So I just sewed in my ends and this lovely, that's why I called it lovely mandala trivet is completed. So I hope that you love this. Um, I wish you a happy Valentine's. You could make one of these for your Valentine. And um, if you like this video and want to show some love, give it a thumbs up. I thank you very much and send the love back to you and uh, be sure to subscribe and check the links below for in the description for all the materials list and the written pattern. Thanks for joining and I can't wait to see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.